What's up guys? I'm in Las Vegas at the big gun show. This one's called Crossroads of the West. And you may recognize this gentleman here. This is Jim. I met him in Arizona a couple years ago at a survival expo. So let's go ahead and introduce yourself to the world and then just go right into what you got here. All right, this is my survival hiking stick that I developed. I'm Jim Callahan from Sierra Vista, Arizona. Let's talk about your background because I think that's important for the new guys to know as well. Okay, I spent 23 years in the Army, a retired uh, colonel from the United States Army. I flew Apaches, Blackhawks, Cobras, Hueys, 58s, and uh, got retired about 12, 15 years ago. And currently, I'm teaching UAV operators down at Fort Huachuca, the uh, drones. Nice. So, that being said, your survival walking stick is definitely coming from a professional background. And that's why I like what you got here. So, now go for I, it. I've used it for many years, uh, developed it, refined it to try to. I did search and rescue for a long time until my knees started giving out and I couldn't get up in the mountains anymore. Awesome. So, the hiking stick. Different sizes, all, all made out of solid wood. I put 36 feet of parachute cord. Underneath that cord, I put foil to make a pot. Boil your water. 100 feet of fish line. Six feet of duct tape for injuries and repairs. A signal panel, which is also a bandage and a water filter. And a full space blanket is underneath the cord. Then I drill a hole down to here. Put in a compass. Signal mirror. Nine feet of snare wire. A cotton ball soaked in Vaseline. That'll burn for five minutes. A regular cotton ball, maybe one minute. A ferrous rod, a striker, water purification tablets, and a number 22 scalpel. And then a waterproof case that has a glow stick that'll glow for 12 hours. Four strike anywhere matches, Rambo needle, four fish hooks, four sinkers. And if you take the bottom cap off of all these sticks, you can screw in a broadhead. There's an insert and you provide your broadhead. Or cold steel makes the Bushman. You shave the stick down a little bit and the Bushman fits on just like that. Nice. So basically this stick should supplement what's in your backpack. If you're out there hiking and all you have is a stick and you gotta get through the night and you hurt yourself, this stick will give you a really good chance to make it through that night. Very cool, I like that. So let's go ahead and look at all the different uh, models you got. They come in all different colors and sizes too, right? Yeah, you name it. I can get a spray paint and make it, make it happen. <laughs> or if it has a really nice grain to it, I'll yeah. just leave it and just stain it. Yeah, I like this one probably the best here. It's just natural. And you see the markings cool. on here? Yeah, it's, go ahead and explain to the guys what that is. It's for tracking. If I'm tracking somebody, I'll lay this between the footprints. I'll lay the, I'll put this uh, on the heel. And I'll put a piece of tape, I know how long their foot is now. I'll put another piece of tape where their second heel is, I know what their stride's doing. I'll check every once in a while. If it's getting longer, they're moving out of me. Getting shorter, I'm catching up to them. Nice. There's two holes right here. I'll put my flashlight across right there, and then I can shine it across the footprint while I'm tracking at night. Keeps my signature low in case there's bad guys around, or it lets me also shine across the footprint rather than straight down where it bleach out the sign. You can't see the, oh, nice. the ridges nice. and stuff. And is that what those holes are for, just for that purpose? Yes, just oh. for holding on to it. You could also lash a, uh, a, a bayonet or something to it, a knife, mm -hmm. or make it a bigger spear. Gotcha. I mean, this is from a crutch, right? Is that what that is? Oh, yes, the tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're at Ace Hardware. You can get uh, four of them for three bucks. Okay. You can shift your hand up or down. I basically like one that's about this big so I can rest on it. Oh, it yeah. It's pretty good. But also you're checking, you're keeping yourself stable, you're checking for rattlesnakes, mm -hmm. you're keeping dogs away, or javelina that are coming at you, so mm -hmm. you want to reach out a little bit. I've had some hunters use the Moses sticks for glassing, in case they're going to look, they're looking for uh, animals, mm -hmm. uh, deer, they're glassing with it, and then uh, they can also use it as a stand to shoot the rifle. So they kind of just put their hand on it and then lay the rifle yep. on top? lay the rifle on top. Or nice. on top, lay it like this. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Nice. Very cool. And these are affordable. They're only 50 bucks, right? They're all $50. Yep, doesn't mm -hmm. matter what size. Awesome. Um, shorter ones, medium, or the tall ones. They're all $50. Nice. And we were talking off camera about this. You don't have a website yet because you're still working another job. Yep. But uh, someday soon you'll have a website. But for now, if guys want to order these, where do they go? Okay, my email is hawk6, H-A-W-K, number, the number six, at q.com. And uh, 
give me an email, send me an email like that. I'll send you pictures. We'll start getting all the coordinations. And then I don't have, I have PayPal, but I don't, I'm not using it right now. So I'm going to go with just send me a check. If I'm going to mail one of these sticks, uh, west of the Mississippi is going to be about $10. East of Mississippi is going to be about $15 to mail it. What about guys local in your area where you're from? Can they yeah. just come by and meet you somewhere? Oh, yeah. Meet me. Uh, <laughs> I'm on all the Crossroads gun shows okay. in uh, awesome. Tucson, Phoenix, and I do this Las Vegas show in August uh, every year. Awesome. So you're always in the Tucson, Phoenix area yep. at any given time. Or Sierra Vista area. Or Sierra Vista. Southern, that's where you're from. Southern Arizona. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So for the folks uh, that just were interested in the, the um, hiking stick, uh, that's the end of this video. But we're going to talk about more of your stuff as well. Let's do it. And so let's see because you got a lot of stuff here I just started making these these are survival kits that I put they're all wrapped up in tape inside they have about 50 foot of parachute cord they have a whistle they have four hooks four sinkers again that glow stick uh, water purification tablets about 10 12 22 bullets uh, a 12 by 12 aluminum foil to begin inside to make a pot the Vaseline inside of a, a straw to keep it from getting all over your gear. A 12 by 12 signal panel, nine feet of snare wire, four matches again, strike anywhere. I put a one, two, uh, a two and a half inch nail inside. Jute, jute is what goes along this edge right here. Oh, I see. That really makes a good tinder. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, where were we? Six foot of duct tape, ferrous rod with a striker. Signal mirror, number 22 scalpel, Rambo needle. I got 40 feet of fish line in there, uh, a uh, compass, and a whistle right here on the outside. Nice. And this just pretty much straps to your pack? It does. You can put it where it is a lanyard around your neck. Or, or neck. Just okay. Throw it inside your pack you just put it right in your neck like that. Yep. Cool. How much does this one sell for? They're 35. Oh, that's not bad at all. And cool. this is a bracelet that you wear on your wrist. It's got 40 feet of fish line, two fish hooks, two sinkers, signal mirror, ferrous rod with a striker, and a whistle right here on the buckle. Nice. Very nice. It's got about 20 feet of cord and about 12 inches of jute, which is the jute around the outside, which is a really good tinder. Very cool. I see it's $20 for it these. Is 20 bucks. That's not bad at all. And I was looking at these uh, monkey fish, right? Yes. What's the what's the purpose of this now? Is it a self defense tool? It is. This is what's inside of all of them: a one inch steel ball bearing. Yeah, so you got some weight on there for sure. And that is inside of each one of these monkey fish. I have the longer ones with the uh, nuts on them like this for uh, stay backs for motorcycles. They call them. <laughs> if you get too close, you get your car gets smacked. <laughs> I also have some of the personal keychains and defensive weapons as you're walking out to your car. You have that in your hand and it's ready to go rather than trying to get the mace out of the bottom of your jacket it's or It's instant self-defense. You don't it's have right to, there. there's no drawing. It's already out. It is ready right to there. go. It's unassuming too because you're not going to really yep. think anything of it until you start smacking the bad guy with this thing. Yep. Very Different cool. colors up here. And it's called snake weave because it looks like a snake's belly from the side. Oh yeah. How much do these sell for? They're 25. 25, the right? The long on. ones, the big ones with the nuts on them are uh, 35. Very cool. Uh, here's something I, I thought was really interesting. You're trying to take out Goliath with one of these, right? Yes. <laughs> David and Goliath sling. It has the finger loop at one end, it has the nuts. Uh -huh. And then you just put your ball in here, rock, whatever it is, and find the right spacing and throw it. Got a bunch of different colors. Different colors. There. Very cool. How much are these selling for? These are 15 15 bucks. Yep. And, and then when you're uh, in a survival situation, you can unravel it and use it. You can. You have if you had to. 30 feet of cord there. Nice. And now, I'm assuming this is a miniature version of a survival stick? It's a small thumper. Oh, yep. okay. And you have, uh, in, there's no gear inside. This oh, okay. just self-defense. Oh, I got you. I put a, about a six-inch steel bar inside. Oh, okay. Nice. A little, 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 little.